Hello there, my fellow Enclave members. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course, and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues. Now, as you see, we can do a national focus, and let's just jump straight into comments before I forget anything else, because sometimes I forget comments and to uh, really go through all of them. I get through some of them, but not all of them. So here, first of all, keep going for airships. Yes, I am going to keep researching and doing and producing more airships. Uh, there's a comment for us to get rid of political indoctrination, which we've already gotten rid of. I went to Enclave Academy because that doesn't give do too many bad things for us. Sure, it's a lot more minimum training levels, whatever. And organization, that's good. Training time, whatever. Political indoctrination is done. No more daily intellectual support, which is fine with us since we are rulers and we're still the majority party here, which is pretty nice. Navarro veterans would be nice, but whatever. No more formal training would be a bad idea. Let's see. Actually, there's a lot of support from you guys. A ton of support for me to do a path with uh, going down the more democratic, more legitimate route. So, we're so we would still be rebuilding a nation, but we do like rule of law, we would do empower Congress, we would do a nation reborn, and we'd probably go ahead and do expand the net finish of human, which I'm going to save for another campaign for another day. Probably in 2021 sometime, if, you know, whatever. Cool, the next focus is a comment that someone left. So, someone recommends we do Chamber of Commerce next, so we will. The Chamber of Commerce can promote trade and economic development, tying the American economy together, which is great. We're training some more guys up. Uh, let's see, we have military high command, interventionist. Eh, actually, you get more war support. That's not bad. We already have maxed out war support. Air superiority is pretty good. We'll probably choose that one. Why not? Cool. Let's a ton go on. Yeah, there's a ton of support for us to go down a more legitimate path. Uh, if you'd like to hear about profits from the drug trade, go right ahead. Just pass me a hit while you're at it. So, hmm. Ooh, we also need to get rid of collapse trade, which we're trying to do right now. A declare war in New Canaan. The Mormons are under attack. Crazy. Ho Horns Apostles. Oh, that's kind of different. Oh, Eagle Rock Apostles. That's kind of cool. Let's see. So, implants. As someone said in the comments from yesterday, implants uh, give certain units bonus or certain, you know, components, support companies, divisions, battalions, bonuses, you know, uh, if they're equipped with it. So, you can get cybernetic implants, which we will probably research eventually. Yeah, we're going to do Chamber of Commerce next. Someone wants me to wants to see me nuke China. Well, that's going to be a little bit hard for us. Sierra Leone. Now, I'm thinking this is probably not the Sierra Leone. This looks more like Hawaii. Man, imagine this Chinese communist in Hawaii, and we all we had to do is nuke them. Because if you go further, you know, west enough, we end up in the East Coast. You know? This is not a bad thing. All that's left of the world is North America. That kind of makes me happy. But anyways, and someone recommends we be prepared for the Utah <clears throat> flu. The wars in Utah, because... We might need things or vaccines. Did you know vaccines cause aw awesomeness? <laughs> Anyways. Wow, we got a lot of manpower. Holy crap, that's a ton of guys. Anyways. Uh, vaccines cause what? Oh, ooh, scientific construction tech, department of manufacturing. Let's go ahead and grab that. By creating a department devoted to solely to industrial growth, we can revive the American economy. After that one, I believe that... Ooh, every man a car. Starlight Express would be nice. Light up the night. Oh, we actually get the implant tech access tech. Interesting. Very good. Uh, but then we'll go I'm going to go ahead and do rebuilding the Pacific Northwest, stripping the vaults. But we do have some decisions from the last one we did. Ooh, robotics extraction would be very, very good. Let's grab some advanced tools as well. So when we did rebuilding the four states commonwealth and stuff like this, we got decisions. Actually, we can course some stuff right now. Don't mind if we do. I mean, you know, the way we did it, in terms of like getting compliance all the way down was basically you had to go with a default law or law level that gives you more compliance because if you go with no occupation you don't get any compliance sporadic outpost gives you so little that if you have too many penalties you won't get any more compliance if you'd like to read about this go right ahead Ooh, that's not bad if you'd like to read about this go right ahead as well we're not gonna be pushed around though uh, but like if it's so little compliance you actually won't get any compliance games disabled that's why i went with caravan guards because it costs you well, I guess minus resistance target. It's a little bit more resistance, growth speed, and damage to garrisons, but the compliance was so good that that's how we did it. And actually, that's why I almost always do um, new systems care package as well as grain solicitations, which gives you more manpower, less resistance target, more daily compliance, which helps out so much. It just it's just easy when you're rich. <laughs> you know, we have 187 dollars, not caps, but U.S. dollars, so. When you're rich, it's not that difficult, apparently. And let's see, we can re we can reconstruct California 
But I'm going to save these until, like, we're completely done with all the legitimacy stuff. I think that'd be best. So, just because we want to keep as much of it as possible. Uh, hold military theory committee. That'd be nice. Because we're going to need a lot of army XP. Good. This is done as well. Um, I don't want to wait. Yeah, maybe we could send some manpower down here. Military training is nice. There you go. And it does help if you have doggos to help put down resistance as well. You know what? Let's grab some of this first. And actually, what do, what do we have on our divisions? Alclave auxiliaries. They're not even 20 combat width. Okay. Oh, man. i got to stop using my army XP. We don't even have support companies on them. Advanced recycling is nice. Let's grab some 3D dimensional printers. Or 3 dimensional printers. 3D printers. Whatever. And now, let's go ahead and... The last argument of presidents sounds like a lot of fun. I, I do want to go to war, so let's do the last argument of presidents. Although most nuclear missiles are used in the Great War, we've been getting some signals near Ashen that suggest some of our pre-war weapons are still around. And its role goal against whomever controls Ashen Hopeville will unlock the ability to nuke Flagstaff. Note that some in the free press and Congress might take issue with using weapons that destroy the world. The sins of our fathers. Well, it's a good thing we don't care about Congress. Oh, we already own them. God dang it. I didn't realize that. And it's a good thing we don't care about the free press, because <laughs> there is no free press. It just makes it easier when there's no free press, right? There you go. Can we do that? No, we can't. Alright, so we gotta make sure we put all actually all of this at the bottom. Because we can get so much more legitimacy, even though we don't really actually need it. Once we just focus on building roads. So, oh, my apologies for this. My apologies. Pause the game real quick. I apologize for the clicking as well. Look how many roads. I mean, I am a builder. A big builder. We're getting more legit legitimacy? Yeah, that's true, but let's grab some more electricity as well. Actually, that's a little bit ahead of time. Gene crops. Seems pretty fitting for us. Power stations would be nice. We'll build those eventually. Ooh, go and build it there. I don't really care. Yeah, let's build it up everywhere that we can first. And not bad. Looking pretty good. Actually, we don't need it there, but whatever. How much electricity do we have? 51. We gotta put in a few power stations as well. 50%, well, let's see, infrastructure will be built in some places. There you go, that's enough for now. I think that'll be enough. We can only get how much? 1.56 every day? A new a new day glow. That's not bad, man, that's not bad. Uh, restore the central thingy, my bob. 50 more energy in Gunderson Ranch. Don't mind if we do. Last arguments of presidents, rebuilding the Pacific Northwest. Let us dredge the harbors of Portland, clear the rubble of Seattle, and restart Columbia River's dams, and take care of that super mutant infestation. To rebuild the, we unlock decisions to rebuild the Pacific Northwest. Gaga groovy. And we're good. The sins of our fathers, straddling the border between California and the Mojave, are two prosperous trading towns, Ashton and Hopeville. These small towns have boomed in recent years thanks to civilization's recovery, and we're already on our list to liberate, to simplify logistics, if nothing else. But recently, we picked up some sort of signals from pre-war military bases in the region, since the area was home to ICBM missiles or bases before the war. We should secure the towns and investigate. Well, you know what? We already have. Taking them out, at least. Mm, War of the Red Menace. Pro oh, we got even more drug trade. Nice. Uh, increase. Yeah, we don't need that. I mean, we already have 159. Caravan ambush. You'd like to read about this? Go right ahead. This happens every campaign. Really? Who would try to ambush our caravans? Do they not know that we literally just killed like everyone over there? Ooh, Legion marches. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Ooh, we could do that, but we don't have enough money. I kind of still don't mind doing that. I like the flag though. That's a really nice flag. Oh wow, it's pretty good. Pretty good. At this point, I can't even be concerned about how much manpower we have. So, I mean, it's just so much. So much. I just want to get the Brotherhood, actually. Now, what war goals do we get? Do we almost slow us to 300. That's not enough. Irrigate California. We can't do that because we need more money. Reservation building the Rockies. That's true. Do I have to manually go to war with everybody? Probably not. Oh, no. We got to go down here. At least we can try again. Um, okay. Okay. I thought we already said that, or looked at that, so. Defeat the Axis of Evil, Free Cascadia, Fix a Broken Ghost, the Texclave, ooh. Colorado Line, Combat Legion Propaganda, yeah, we should probably do that. Operation Brutus, ooh, I don't know. From the top down, from the bottom up. Lycaun, what, Plant Weapon Caches, Operation Spoticus, Operation Augustus, huh. What's on the right, the very far right side here? Just upgrades and such? Hmm. 
National Guard, that'd be kind of nice. Department of Homeland Security. Emergency draft. Well, alright, whatever. I, I, I don't want to have to manually go to war with everyone, do I? That's not fun. Reuniting the States of America. With control of California and Nevada, we can make the we can we can make begin the hard work of freeing the rest of our great nation, and perhaps some others. Legion marches, I don't care what the Legion does, I really don't. Auto injectors inject us good. Hmm. Uh, crowd control gear. We should, I should probably get that, too. Advanced tools will be nice. We haven't done anything for an intelligence agency. Hmm. It seems pretty fitting that we'd probably choose the Eagle, so let's go with that. Now, this is pretty common for me to ask you guys on this channel to see what we should call our intelligence agency name. I'm open to whatever you guys suggest. Or it could just be Enclave Intelligence. I'm open to whatever. So, let me know in the comments below. New Citizens Gear Package? Well, honestly, we really don't need that. I'm going to invest more in, uh, in Vault City, actually. And where can we... Oh, maybe we can't. Oh, we still need to build more stuff, huh? We're not done yet. Alright, whatever. That's fine. Hmm. We're building a nation. Well, we don't really control all of... We don't control a lot of Nevada, actually. Open for business? The Legion Marches? Uh, yeah. We'll go against... Okay, that's... Okay, well, they go to war those. Fine, whatever. Hearts and Minds, we might do that next. Stripping the vaults. Stripping is nice. Rockets Red Glare, open for busyness. Oh yeah, that's not bad. I like I like being open for business. Every man a car. Actually. We still have this. Replace oh, oh, happy holidays. Well, let's go with export focus instead of free trade. Thank goodness we got rid of that. So, the pre-war Carol fades as President Douglas Granite comes on the radio. My fellow Americans, we've been through a lot the last few years, but I think we've remembered for the first time in a long time what binds us together instead of what blows us apart. Whether we let a menorah go to church or worship an unexploded nuclear bomb, we all base our faith in love. Love. Love for the country. So for the new year, let's resolve to give of ourselves. To be our brother's keeper, to be our sister's keeper, to be excellent to each other. And if you do worship an unexploded nuclear bomb, please give it to us. Eid, play Christmas Roads. Stability, please make sure your sound is on and your music is off. Have a happy holiday unless you like the Legion. Well, hopefully this doesn't get demonetized. Probably shouldn't. Well then, it's quite he hard to hear, I'll be honest, quite hard to hear. Hmm. This firm is granite. The Gannon Doctrine incorporates settler and tribal nations seeking allies, negotiate a group rate, the greatest power in the wastes, Hmm, we just straight up annex, and that's not bad. But that requires legitimacy. As firm as granite. Sure, America is beset by enemies, foreign domestic, the raiders, slavers, and troubles, the ruffians who roam the waste, preying on any and all, stealing and murdering, but last but not least, the hideously mutated super mutants that have built their war in like rotting maggots. Lawlessness, terror, murder, they're all around us. I know, I know, but not for long, sweet America. Not for long. I'll probably just go with Artillery Specialist. Everything else... Uh, you know, I'm going to go with Gideon McClellan for now, just because... We need more Army XP game. Officer training? Loyal officers still wouldn't be bad, but intellectuals, we don't really want more, any more intellectuals. Chief of Staff, or Pentagon Reborn. Hmm. Max Planning, starting level of new commanders. Leader cost goes up, though, quite a bit. 100%, even more. Probably the Pentagon Reborn. That's probably what we're going to have to go do. That's fine. Limited exports. 
Oh, crowd control gear. Don't mind if we do. Let's grab some additional plating and throw some of these bad boys on. Oh yeah, oh god, I forgot, yeah. Gunships, cannot forget airships. Airships, 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 airships. My apologies, I've forgotten already. My mind, well, I'm not gonna say it's an enigma, but it might just be slipping. Resistance, okay, looking not too bad. Just kinda hang out where you're at. There, do the she area. Who we thought were communists. They might have been, but you know, whatever. Air, air, air. Oh, we need to do lightweight metals, okay. Well, yeah, was, oh, New Vegas is fighting them. Okay, not bad. Automated utility system. I do them too. I don't really care. Nice. Pretty good. Keep going. Keep going. Doing what you're doing. Hold military theory committees. That's good. Power grids. Power all. Well, just yeah, do that. That makes it so much easier. Why did I do it manually? Because I could. As firm as granite. Both Mexican Titans seeking allies. Eh, the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, let's go seeking allies. We aren't the only power opposed to the NCR. To the east comes the fool who dreams of reviving the Roman Empire. To the south lies another legacy of the old war, Mr. House in New Vegas. And then there's the Brotherhood of Steel, who have no love for the NCR or us. Perhaps the enemy of our enemy can be our not enemy? Let's see. First, I'll just throw a bunch of grenades at them, but whatever. Pursuit? That sucks. Next time, we'll be, we will be prepared. Alright, let's see. Actually, with these guys here, let's go and do what we need to do. Cass. And fighters duplicate all y'all let's see actually do it again one two you know do one two three four go right there you guys i'm just gonna throw you up right there well transports eh yeah i almost never do that i don't know if we're actually going to be you know sending our soldiers like that again yeah pair dropping i can't, I can't word apparently I can't pronounce things pair drop Again, just because it's okay. I mean, we could probably pair drop. Honestly, we could probably just pair. Well, actually, we might pair drop against Kaiser well Legion, just capitulate him as fast as possible. That way, that actually would not be a bad idea. But still, actually, how many divisions are we making? We need, we need more. No, no, no. We need more. I want more. We gotta get more. I don't touch. Don't touch Army XP, Mr. Mocha Lover. Don't touch it. Okay, okay, okay. I won't. Oh, d develop the tribal lands. And it's, um, yes, please. Yes, please. Radio Inception Group. Keep doing that. Great, great, great. Pursuit again. Worth saving. Hey, we got 450 US dollars. Hopefully, they're worth something. We'll make them worth something. Mm, uses and scare package. Uh, Sack City. Oh, Colin. We're gonna have a great time with girls. I wonder how much manpower we're gonna have before we're done here. Actually, we have that much money. All right, so maybe we'll do a new Dayglo just because it costs money. So Hayes was born in Dayglo to an enclave of loyalists who fled after Navarro. As such, he's got some great plans for his hometown. A new Dayglo and work camp Perinos. Thank you. Let's grab some brick housing. Eh, we could land auction. Of course, is finished or finito. Let's finish some of this. Heavy trooper mountaineering tactics would be nice. Good afternoon, America. This is your president, and I want to tell you all of a great new plan. You might have heard of the solar plant outside New Vegas called Helios One, but you know, but did you know it was only one of a series of plants intended to wean America off fossil fuels before the Great War? Hello, New Vegas, California, and City could never have duplicated it. But working together, we are building Helios Dos. Outside of Day Glow, as we speak, to bring clean, affordable energy to Southern California. As a new day of America, soak up the sun. This is fine. This is great. I thought we were just going to get energy, but we got composite materials. I want to call that aluminum, but it's composite materials. I remembered finally. Additional playing, great. Brotherhood of Steel. Too many of the Brotherhood of Steel are the dudes who destroyed Navarro, and the Brotherhood is frankly terrified that California and Nevada are under the control of a faction with technology rivaling their own. But many within the Brotherhood remember when the Wastes looked to them as heroes, and we remember their origins in the United States Army. Perhaps we can reach a compromise? Hmm, we shall see. Now, I remember from earlier episodes that th there was a few people who wanted me to, like, get the Brotherhood of Steel with us, under us, fight together for the re restoration of America. Mm, I don't know. For, with our per current path... Oh, radioactive material leak. If you'd like to read about this one, go right ahead. The NBC officers would be pleased at the efficiency of the soldiers. Death Clause 8 some of our team, which sucks. But whatever. Uh, learning from each other. 
It's treason then, huh? Our band of brothers. Oh, it becomes oh, so they become a puppet. They become owner of Navarro and all these areas. Add Victorium. Cleansing the mother, the Mojave, not mother, but Mojave. Cleaning the mother. No thanks. Oh, they get some transport helicopters. Yeah, we'll do this route when we play as a democracy, or really more of a legitimate government. So, so now we need this one. Oh, wait. Materials. Good. 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 Let's give it a few days before we invade. Our guys need a little bit more organization, so. There's only 20 combat with. Let's see. Bomb gliders. I don't want this trash here. What are we? The NCR? Actually, let's go ahead and build up an airbase here, too. That'll help suffice and put a lot of things around here. That'd be nice. Composites, if you'd like to read about the secret sauce, go right ahead. Uh, this happens usually every other campaign or so, but I hear it right as well. I'm going to go to War of the Den. Uh, you know what? Let's go to War of the Den first. Why not? Uh, you guys are busy doing that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go to War of the Den because this, this will expire eventually, so you guys go do that. And you're just going to hold. I'm not even going to bother trying to use it for anything else. And, uh, and I'm just going to have you guys just attack like crazy. Give them a few days. We can go to war by... 17th? Not bad. I forget. We should get a war goal on everybody eventually, right? Maybe not? No? Hey, another division. Nice. I doubt they'll make them in time, but that's alright. The Brotherhood of Steel. We gotta do war with the Brotherhood. I'm sorry. And the arrogance. The Brotherhood believe that high technology is exclusive per view of fanatics hiding underground. Let's demonstrate the errors of their ways. I want war. I'm, I'm out for blood in this episode. Last few episodes, not too much war. So, I mean, yeah, we went to war with the sheep, but I don't count that as much, very much war at all. Hmm. Power armor scavengers. Well, last time we did that, they got eaten. And we need more money. All right. They immediately attack us. Power armor. Move right on in. Oh, ooh, they're looking a little weak right there, I see, huh? Looking a little weak. At least it's not like TNO, where sometimes when you attack or try to defend, you can if you get pushed, and you just get, like, sometimes just stomped. It's a bit ridiculous, but it makes a lot of sense for TNO. Uh, let's go and do that much. There you go. This way we can start piling in a lot more. Uh, they're slowly winning here, too. You know what? You're not allowed to lose. Braxton Berry? Better learn that soon. More recon? That'd be nice. Come on. We should be done by now, right? Only 30-ish ground support damage. 20? Don't go any lower than that, guys. Come on. Oh, a little bit of lag. <sighs> Lightweight materials. Combat blimps? They're not really that great, I'll be honest. I really don't like them. But since you guys wanted them, and we're pretty much... Gonna win this campaign right out. We might as well use them. Base Ventura? Why not? War with the Brotherhood? Good. Negotiate a group rate? Eh. Let's do some more of this stuff up here. Let's do hearts and minds. Why not? We cannot rule this country without the hearts and minds of its many citizens. Let us utilize radio and television to win their hearts and revive the educational system to gain their minds. Uh, using education to... In not indoctrinate... No, no, not indoctrinate, no. To, um... Inspire youngins, younger people, to follow what we say. Yes. Exactly. Especially if they're subhumans. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. How many men have we lost? That's too many. 233? Then again, I don't really care about manpower. We're at only 7% for volunteer army, but we've only really conscripted 3.8% because our effective total manpower has been modified to 55%. Holy bad words. We've lost too many guys and not killed off enough. Make Klamath bleed. Yeah, we need to keep going up north. North to Alaska, that'd be fun. Klamath, well, they had their chance. There you go, Klamath, thank you. Beautiful. Alright, let's go back over here. And this is what I'm going to do just in case I forget about it. I'm just going to immediately install things there. Just because, eventually, I will forget to core this stuff. I mean, it won't matter in the future. 
And even if we do that now, like building these civilian places, oh, we actually built up Medford huh, with a lot of factories, huh? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have enough manpower to last us the entire campaign now. All right, looking pretty good. And this is 1,500 planes. Not enough, obviously, but whatever. Or whatever. How much electricity do we have? Only 266? <laughs> Never enough. We need some radar. Have your trooper mounted engineering tactics. And don't spend that. Good, good, good. Alright, time to go to war. Oh, these fools. They want to attack. How about we get some uh, things that cause awesomeness? Vaccinations is the administration of antigenetic or antigenic material, a vaccine, to stimulate an individual's immune system to develop adaptive immunity to a pathogen. Monthly population goes up, a double bonus for medical technology, and less division attrition. Why not? Inject me with that good stuff. Mmm. Alright, so we've lost six guys versus 200 some. We, we are going to have to really ex exterminate them, huh? They're not attacking. Okay, they're not attacking us again. Come on, man. Seriously, guys. Oh, we need some more. We, oh, man. We definitely, definitely need more planes. I need to get more casts and such. Uh, no, actually, combine you guys. Thank you. Actually, yeah, duplicate. Hey, turn triumphant. Nice. A bonus for electronics. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, 50 is not nearly enough. I mean, maybe we lost 24, 25. Not bad. Keep corn stuff if you find it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. I love it. I love doing this. Men of prospectors, might as well, right? Develop the tribal lands. If you want to read about that, go right ahead. Take up Alphabet's burn and bring them our peaceful ways by force. Taking out the trash. I love it. We're taking down the raiders and travels. We're defending life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I've got to completely agree. There we go. And someone's got an upgrade. Thank you. New Reno upgrades? Yes, please. Ah, inject me with that good stuff. American Broadcasting. Department of Education. Strippin' Vaults. Strippin'. Department of Energy, why not? Pre-war America sent energy from Hoover Dam to California, from the Tennessee Valley to Chicago. So can we. So can we. Another division. Don't mind if we do. Oh, wait. What the heck? The Mormons won. Um, so if I remember correctly, the... 80s were guaranteed by New Vegas. Not New Vegas. The Legion. My apologies. The Legion. Oh, God. No, not these blimps. Drop tanks are nice, though. So, okay. They declared war on... The 80s declared war on New Canaan, so the Legion wasn't called in, so... That's a big Mormon faction, you see. A big old Mormons there. If you're leading these guys, we'll do experienced soldiers. Yeah, that's, uh, that's just better. All right, you know what? Very cool. Oh crap, we use armor speed now. Ah, oh, I need to be more careful. Develop the lands. What does this even do? Pass me a hit. So developing does what? Like, we have one out of twenty-five unlocked. We do that again. Is it just... Doing this does nothing. I'm gonna have so much political power, I don't even care, I'll be honest, but... Still, I guess it does really nothing. And they're attacking us again. Oh... Oh, the Legion marches again. You know what? I don't care. Let them, let them kill everybody. Like, seriously. Let them take everyone else out. I don't want... I don't care. Let them have a good time. Oh, go ahead and march in. Uh, that just means less people that we have to take out, so... Fine with me, I don't care. Lighting up the night... Why not? We need to do more than live off the scraps of the Great War. We can rebuild centers of high technology to train the next generation of scientists. So let's do it. Do we really have to... Hmm. I'm probably doing this wrong. What is this? Does not exist. Democracy. Weakness or strength. We must prepare for war that is surely coming our way. I don't really care. Oh, we have this going too? Alright. Replicators. I'm mean, gonna go to war now. I don't care. 
I really don't. That's fine with me. We'll be able to win probably fairly easily, but... Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. We just do what we need to do. You know what? We'll go to war with them next, probably. Cool. Gliding up the night. Love it. Love it. Very, very nice. Oh, that's okay. We're going to need to call our guys around. Uh, so put you guys over there. Actually, we could go to war with these guys first. You know what? Let's do that first. Go to war with these fine, fine folks. And I'll have you guys come over here. And actually, half of you guys. I mean, we could pair drop. I don't really feel like it. There you go. Half and half. Request lower tariffs. Did we get rid of these guys? This is falling through. Cut our losses. Might as well. Oh, yeah. We have this too. Cool. Lighting up the night sky. Republic of Mexico. Oh, Republic of Mexico. Look at that. That's very nice. Oh, and they still have Honduras down there too, huh? Well, good for them. It's time to kill off the Brotherhood. They've had it too good for too long. Very nice. And after this, we shall do... Every minute car wouldn't be bad. Uh, contact loss? Well, that sucks. Stripping the bolts. As we reclaim America, there's a great deal we can gain from the pre-war bolts, and we can use them for their original purposes. But I will be right back. And here we go. With the good old Brotherhood of Steel, and our units are, well, engaging. Well, actually, I forgot Navarro. Well, that's not good. If that's the case, you guys... Go ahead and leave that area. I'm sure you guys told me in the comments below, Mr. Mocha Lover, don't forget Navarro. How could I forget Navarro? Well, the reason is I don't want to go back there after what happened, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we could attack with their infantry. I suppose we could. We could probably actually do pretty darn well. Yeah, that's a lot of green. I like that. Down here, not so much since we don't have that much defense that are online, though. Invisible ink. Government cipher schools would be nice. And new citizen scare package. Uh, grain, grain solicitations. Eh, I'm not feeling like it right now. Maybe later. Send a rescue team, of course. And let's do restore the Beale Air Force Base. Awesome. Now we're not doing so well. Find the expedition. Guys, just move on in. You'll be okay. Platoon training. Nice. Basic drills. Research. Now we're struggling here because we don't have a lot of organization. But they're surrounded. And you guys are about to die. And you guys are about to enter there, too. Not a lot of organization, but that's alright. They're going to die there like they should. Alright, now we can tech down here. What's air damage like? Because we're going to go to war immediately with the Legion after this. Well, actually, maybe we should have waited so long. We need to go do defeat the Axis of Evil. Well, I don't really care. I'm just going to go to war with them anyways. How long will it take to justify, though? Uh, uh, ah, I screwed it up. Maybe I waited too long. They're holding up pretty darn well, though. Can't pierce each other. Oh well. Uh, let's grab the next level as well. Beautiful. And there they go. Doing a pretty good job. Probably lost a few guys here and there, but I don't really care to be honest with you, as you can tell. Even the infantry can do pretty darn well, especially when these guys are cut off. Eh. Uh, not that much damage is being done. Launch codes detected now that we liberated Navarro. From America's enemies, the Army Corps of Engineers is going through old records and has come across something interesting. They managed to, launch, to find launch codes for missile silos, although most of those codes were lost during the war or after due to vault tech subversion. If you ever find missiles that weren't used, it could come in handy. Wait, they'll probably work in Ashton. Racks that counter shop if you like to read about that. Go right ahead, we'll take 40 cases. And actually, wow, we got 5,200 things of armor. Nice. Actually, we've got to really boost that one up. Better living ab above ground. The vaults were not designed to save anyone. They were designed to the for the American eternity. To help America leave this world and survive on desolate planets. Many vaults are failing after some 200 years, but there's still plenty of industrial gear we can refurbish and maintain. But some scientists have suggested we can always do more research. Knowledge is a valuable re treasure. We can put those fusion plants in our cities. Uh, I mean, yeah, that's probably better overall. Research speed's okay. Scavenging vaults, why not? Alexander Garnett. Well, let's go with the person that has a unique picture. That looks pretty unique, even though we don't get any more bonuses or whatever. I don't care. I'd love to do that one, but 
and defeat the axis of evil. With rope and crows watching the Brotherhood in the Legion, these three powers threaten to enslave the waste, and with the clouds of the NCR, only the Enclave are capable of protecting democracy. Time to show them that freedom is always worth fighting for. Well, we'll see. God, I, I did this a little bit too late. I don't think we'll have enough time to defeat them to get this thing done, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. So what happens? A closed ranks against America, we must prepare for the war that is surely coming our way. I kind of want to see what happens now. I don't really care if we, you know, what happens. Because we're going to, we'll find a way to win. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, it's n this is not that hard. At this point. Earlier, maybe a little bit. Against, oh, they actually go to, well, actually, that's not bad. If they go to War with New Canaan, they won't, they'll probably run out of manpower. Honor the maintenance. And it's already at 2283. Like, yeah, they got some manpower. They got quite a few divisions. But, oh, there goes them. If they take over all of New Canaan's territory, that's a lot of resistance. And, I just, I, they gotta split up eventually, right? Enter Brother, yep, Papaganda, great. Cleansing the uh, Mojave. He was one of his federal property, come to think of it. So are the suits of power armor the Mojave chapter wears. Eh. Anything else around here that I really care about? Not really, no. Oh, we can do that for funsies. How much money do we have? We got $207, that's not enough. Operation Brutus. The Legion's ramshackle state was built over the last few decades through ruthless expansion, but Kaiser hasn't had enough time to give it a lasting government, and won't if we succeed. Which we shall do next is grab some brick housing. I love brick housing. Probably pretty nice to have. Housing. Uh, three divisions, let's make it five here. That's a few. Uh, like, give him one more. There we go. Three divisions should be good enough to hold out, right? America's capital. Let's see. One, two, three. Four. That should be good enough. That's good. That's actually very, 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 very good. Because now I can throw you guys ooh, over here, really. That'd be better. And I'll throw you guys right here. And just in case, that's all that they have of California. Cool. With the restoration of America, it's time to decide to place, where to place the capital. Some suggest we move to Shady Sands, the largest city of California, but others fearful of the threat of the protesters and dissidents suggest we fortify Navarro. But there's a third idea. Shady Sands is the heart of America. Let's roll the, from the Citadel of Navarro. New Reno will do in, until we free Washington. Please rise for the national anthem, and we'll see you if you ever get to the East Coast. Honestly, I don't, uh, it's not bad to do Shady Sands. Roof of Navarro. I mean, Navarro's not bad. But after what happened there, hmm, I don't know. Shady Sands is the heart of the new America. I kind of like New Reno. But definitely, I don't want to put in Washington, so we'll just do Shady Sands. No, no, we'll do Shady Sands when we're Democratic Path. You guys got to remind me on that one. Democratic Path will go Shady Sands capital. For now, though, I'll do Navarro, why not? I didn't want to do it originally, but whatever. Operation Brutus. Great. I think I read that one, right? Uh, the Legion's ramshackle state was built over the last few decades through ruthless expansion, but Kaiser hasn't had time to give it a lasting government, and won't if we succeed. Did we actually core this or not? We haven't cored it, and it's our capital. That is kind of wild. Oh, they did go to war with them. Alright. Let's core it then. Just core this all, just to get it over with. That'd be nice. Nice, there we go. More guys there. Uh, the Mormons might be able to hold out. I keep calling them the Mormons. Let's take a look. So, 5 to 6,000. They actually have more manpower than the Legion and a bigger industrial base. Wow. Yeah, the Mormons aren't messing around. They're not a pushover. They are absolutely not a push. They're actually pushing back. Holy bad words. Henry Hector, God bless you. Uh, let's go with Mystery Stranger, that's nice. A sniffle, a sneeze, a fever, horrible, horrible bleeding. Since the outbreak of the war with the Legion, the people of New Canaan and their tribal allies have been getting sick with the plague called the Utah Flu, which seems somehow familiar. It's not surprising that the plague broke out among a wasteland army, but it's rather surprising that it doesn't affect Kaiser's men. Armored, 
are our troops safe? I wonder if it can protect our own troops against it. I guess it. The Utah flu worsens. Mr. President, it turns out the Utah flu is actually a virulent strain of FEV that Kaiser luckily picked up from enclave defectors. Legions deploying in Utah and offering the cure to those who submit. Hopefully, our scientists can figure out a way to protect our own men, but it's hard to see how the new Canaanites will survive this disaster. What sort of monsters use a bioweapon? Well, I could point to a nation on the map that does, but, you know, whatever. New Canaan, Eagle Rock. Does that hurt us? I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, just in case you guys come down here too. You guys, have, you guys probably don't have attrition down here, right? Oh, they hold on. Huh, that's quite a bit higher than I thought they would have, have it at. It ties chop chop expansion. I don't care about them. So, I mean, we already got the vaccinations, right? Yeah, we already have vaccinations, so. Alright, Swiss cells. What do we have? We got a lot of these. I like this. Fiat currency. Martial law, presidential dictatorship, high standard of living. Na we even have national health care. A new Sparta. Separate but peaceful. Slave labor. Ah. Hmm. Wom's Mahat. Recovery rate. Oh, God, no! We're so close. But we're going to go to War the Legion. We'll have more than enough uh, army XP, so I'm not too worried about that. Mm -hmm. Cool. From the bottom up, I don't care about Operation Spartacus since I issued the Second Emancipation Proclamation. That doesn't make sense since we did a lot of slavery, so from the top down, probably. I want to do this one. It makes more sense when we play the Democratic Path that we do Operation Spartacus. Kazo's legionary commanders might obey him, but if he were to die, the legion would tear itself apart. Something might be made of that. Request a loan? No. Just no. I don't care what they want. Oh, what do we have? Entertainment. No broadcast segregationists? Reformers. Well, we don't want either one, so we'll go with entertainment stations, but we're not even going to do that yet. Let's go ahead and do infrastructure. Infrastructure would be nice. I don't know, I'll get yeah, we'll do that one, and then we'll do the civilian factories one, I guess. Because this stuff is all okay. No, I'll get power armor max B. We must have maxed it out, right? Ooh, what is this? I don't remember this. We usually do. We always have this always as a default. Victoria Flyers. Vertebrate, more reliability, less construction. Oh my gosh, that just... Uh, more agility, more max speed. Ooh, better protection cost? No. I want speed. We're gonna be real agile. Um, yeah, the Mormons are now... Oh, the Hounds are... They're fighting these guys too? Ooh. That made this a lot more interesting then. Basic drills. Oh, I, I remembered. There you go. Brick housing. Let's grab some scrap jacks as well. Actually, no, thank you. Do we have anything here yet? Oh, yeah, we do. Di dynamite. Yeah, I don't know why I've not thrown this on yet. Anti tank. We're making. Eh, we got plenty enough in the reserve. It won't matter yet. Chems. Good. Fire teams. Might as well, right? Make you guys extra special. Dogs. I like the dogs. It gives them some recon. Why not? Profits from the drug trade, very nice. Pass me a hit. Once again, we got a lot of research. Grain solicitations, not bad. Oh, Canaan falls to the plague. Is a puppet? Does not exist. Falls to the plague as well. That's not good. From the top down, then we'll do the Operation Lycaon. In his pre-war mythology, Lycaon was a king who served Zeus, the flush of his own son, to test Zeus's divinity. We plan on using a modified virulent strain of FEV to kill Kaisal. Word of his illness will only sow instability in the Legion. Hmm. Return triumphant, huh? Naval auction. What did we use that? Um. Uh, I really have a problem, don't I? I really have a problem. They marches, so we should stop them. Against New Canaan again? Well, okay. Well, they're already doing that. The odds of March, Legion is a formidable foe, but Kaiser likes a stable line of succession. If we were to die and his potential successors fought among themselves, this could really destroy the Legion from within, eliminating our most pressing threat. A new Roman civil war? Truly. War never changes. I mean, to do this focus, do we have to be at peace with him? What, what are the conditions? It exists. You know what? Thumbs down, you son of a gun. You know what? I'm going to wait. Let's wait to get the next one done as well. I'll get the other focus done. 
I don't think they're good at Warless yet, so go and train. I don't care. Train. Train it up. Uh, how many uh, planes do we have? Airships, cast fighters, not bad. We have 119. Can I throw these guys finally on us? Actually, here we go. Now, this is going to be nice. You can split them in half if you want. You can send one group. Well, shock market. Oversight is good. At least some oversight. Both of you guys do that. There you go. Ah, no, no, no. You go right there. You can't even fall to the plague. Whatever. Cool. And four days left. Oh, but, yeah. Combat blimps. Blimps, blimps, blimps. Ah, let's not do it there. Man, we need bigger air bases. We really need bigger air bases around here. Um. Okay, so you can actually add them on. That's good. Thank goodness. Defenses are online. Extremely good work. We got 10 more fighters. Wow. Big whoop. Field surgery. NAF El Centro. And field maintenance training. Mm, why not? Eh, we're so close, it won't matter. Alright, scrap shacks. Adobe housing. Ooh, we might have to go to war before the other one finishes. You know what? We can just, just fight on them again. I don't really care. I really don't. Actually, you know what? We can go to war. Let's go to war. Let them fight against our line. And we can still do our focus anyways. Who cares? Right? How a day has been... Oh, FEV fizzles. At Dr. Gans urging the United States pursuit of costly vaccination program. This paid off when the Legion tried to use the FEV against us, promising to bring the ghosts of the past to their knees with no effect. But it's good to know we're going to add attempted genocide to the charges against Kaiser at the War Crimes Tribunal. Maybe Kaiser should invest, invest in some modern medicine. And the Lonesome Road. The Legion poured west into the three United States, backed by a Brotherhood diehards, enclave defectors, and raiders, and all who stand against the American dream. Granny could deploy nuclear weapons, but there are those in his cabinet Congress that are mindful that thousands of American civilian law live in the lands of the Legion. Slaves who pray for better days and have no say in the war. They will perish in nuclear hellfire along with the soldiers of the Kaza. Congress will not let the president strike unless things get worse. Dismantle it? You cannot reach out to fellow Americans with nuclear arms? E. Pluribus Uranium. Pfft. Come on, man. Kaiser has a nasty son of a gun, and as we pushed east, his men have responded with increasing guerrilla attacks under supply lines and atrocities de to demoralize our men. Recently, they somehow crucified 13 men on Hoover Dam, declaring they left their bodies facing west to watch our world die. What's wrong with them? Anyone spreading these stories gets a visit from the Secret Service. Man, we even think that's ruthless. I don't... I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're gonna punish him, you son of a gun. We're gonna punish him until they all dead. Uh, two sons is their enemy. Don't care. Arming... Oh. Do they not want to attack us anymore? Core whatever we can. Airship assault ships. Very nice. Actually, let's go ahead and come back over here and get some more research speed. It's been a while since we've actually done that, so... Thank you. Well, if they're not attacking us... I mean, we've lost two guys. Oh, oh we are the new American state. Yeah. They've lost... Not much. The Mormons. Whoa, that is disgusting. Okay, we gotta move in. The White Legs are there. Oh, they must be part of the Legion, aren't they? No, they're not. Oh, wait, what? Wait, hold on. Oh, they took them all out already. Oh, well, that's not good. Alright, time to move in. Here we go, everyone. Actually, for you guys, if that's a case, I didn't realize it capitulated. My bad. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. Alright, there you go. And put you in high priority. Actually, just go ahead and come up there and go when you can. Alright, gunships, triplane attackers, gliders. We're gonna need some fires for everybody here. Boom, boom, boom. Cut you in half. Bingo, wingo, dingo. Let's go. Oh, they're not even on the. Where are their soldiers? They have 181. Where are they? We found one. That's from Genta. I'm going to assume that they're... Oh, they're fighting the Tarwalker still? The Legionary Training? 7... 15... That's a lot of manpower, but... Alright. Whatever. We'll win no matter what the cost is. 
We're going to deploy these soldiers. No, we did have a very high minimum training level, so. Fall of New Canaan by the rivers of Babylon. We wept when we remembered Zion. All right, the liberation of Hoover Dam. This is Enclave Radio bringing you the latest news from the front. Our boys in black have driven the legion from Hoover Dam, made it by survivors from Nabal who hid in the Mojave. And our flamers are burning Praetorians out of their nests even as we speak. An American flag has been draped over the side of the dam, and soon as power will serve you, dear listeners. And special thanks to that courier who rallied local partisans to our aid. This is not how we saw New Vegas ending. You know, but we'll take it. We need more gunships. Oh, actually, I actually have some planes up there, huh? All right, so we need some more air bases around here, too. Oh, are you guys done? Oh, you're done with that section, huh? You're done with that section. Um, yeah, I guess come over here then. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Up north, we're not looking too good, are we? We got a lot of divisions ready to go. Oh, are you guys done too? Well. We're gonna push in for now, and then we're gonna go back up north, probably. Actually, send you up to Helios 1 to Kitten Valley. There you go. Flood, flood them with our infantry. Oh, Heaven's Gate. Oh, look at that. I don't know if we'll be fighting them. Then we'll send our... Oh, you're about to get into That's not good. Head on back, head on back, head on back. There you go. Let them come in. So, something of the devil. Against all odds, new American states forces have turned the tide against the Legion and marched to liberate the peoples held in bondage. But Santa Anna is no fool and knows he cannot face the power of the United States of America. He has offered to support the Legion's war efforts, providing men and material to bolster the Legion's forces. Although Mauri Kazi has nothing but contempt for a robot army, landing his council that it's better to lose a neighbor's robot than your own soldiers prevails. Once more, the general marches north to snuff out the cause of freedom. We've been once before, we'll do it again. Helios 1, good morning, Enclave Radio, bringing you the news from Helios 1. As the sun rises over the pre-war solar plant reflecting all the solar panels, one can see how much progress the president has brought. Gone are the Brotherhood Knights stripping it for parts with the NCR's engineers stumbling in the dark. Enclave scientists work proudly to restore power to the waste, and even the sun rises over a new day for America. We have the plant, and we have the power. Very, very good. Go and do that, so we can get some more cores. And... We're not even getting more manpower from coring more stuff. Let's go and do that, because that would be pretty good for us, too. Mm. Nothing really else here I really care about. Operation Augustus, let's see what happens. Our men have finally discredited all of Kaza's potential successors, and now none of them will be able to unite the Legion after Kaza's death. The new Rome is doomed. The result justifies the deed. Ovid. Anything happen? Yes, no, maybe so. No, doesn't look like it. Alright. Uh, actually, we won't even need you up there. We need you up here right now. Come up here and help defend. For now. Still up on the Colorado line. Uh, Western Bank against the Legion. Colorado. Uh, meh. I don't really care. Only 44 Army XP, huh? Every man a car. It's not bad. Emergency Labor Draft. I have a Department of Education. Staggering amount of our citizens are illiterate. We'll open, reopen the public schools to provide at least three basic skills, these basic skills, to anyone under 12 years of age. Consumer goods goes down, but whatever. Going to deploy them early? I don't, I don't care. We need them more early. Great news. Great, great news. Arming ICBMs. Hopefully we don't nuke our own soldiers. A little bit of lag here, as uh, we can see, right? Well... What a shame. What a shame, Legion. Look at all these guys. Oh, how many get two? Yeah, that's right. Oh, really? This is Legion? This is definitely different colors than what I remember. So, looks like we bought ourselves a little bit more time. Even Mexico is on fire, too. Well, would you... Oh, we got actually completely encircled. Well, that's not good. I think it's kind of stupid that, that this happened like this. Y'all come down here and finish them off. Pounds a day, whatever. And we're fighting Vulpus up there as well, so... This is very weird. The way we did this was very, very weird. This is a very ugly way of doing it like this. We're supposed to kill Vulpus off, which is not bad, don't get me wrong. Mechanized training is nice. Don't want to forget to do research, normal research. 
Adobe housing would be good. There we go. Tribal huts, not bad, not bad. You guys are just hanging out. Well, alright. If that's the case, come on up here. Uh, Ezra Reynolds. Let's get rooted. Oh, Kaiza. Oh, Kaiza. Not bad, not bad. Take out our enemies for us. That's a good you guys. Eh, let's get more attack. Sure, Aurelius. Sure. They're almost done, I don't care. Just deploy them. We'll, we'll train them when they're done anyway, so. Alright, guys, you're taking your old sweet booty time getting up there. Holy cow. I can't throw these guys on the line. Economic resurgence, great. Hmm. I'm pretty sure they weren't counting on us doing stuff like this, so. Come on back over here and do this if we so might. I mean, this means we'll have to come back and kill these guys off too, but I don't really care. This makes it easier for us right now. We'll capitulate Heaven's Gate first, actually, which would be pretty good for us. Old World Blues, we found nothing. No, oh, big sadness, my friends. Big, big sadness. Republic of Mexico joined. I don't really, I don't care about Mexico. Colorado has to be taken out. I don't care. We'll do it. Launch flag nukes at Flagstaff. Well, let's wait. Let's wait. When Volpes will probably win since he has Santa Ana helping him. So we'll wait till Flagstaff has fallen back again, and then we'll launch some nukes. How about we teach for America though? The establishment of a public school system, even if it will not for a great while extend beyond the cities, presents us with an opportunity. We can persuade the Wasteland's youth that pre-war America is the best country on Earth, a land of nuclear cola fountains, prosperity, and greatness. Or, we can be honest and say that it's full of mo mostly good people who made some really, really bad mistakes, like the ones that led to the nuclear wasteland we inhabit today. Given those options, it's hard to see any reason in which to not whitewash a bit of a past. Who's going to tell them otherwise? Tell kids about the time we conquered the moon. Tell about the mistakes that led to the Great War. It's time to talk about the moon. America's past is glorified in its, in its, in its history books. It gives people something to rally behind, after all. There isn't anyone alive who remembers what it was really like, right? More war support? Love it. More political power? Don't need it. Enclave education? You betcha. We can also use, also use public schooling to teach the world about the Enclave's noble goal for restoring America, a tale of how we should effort our strength until we are ready to act. Some idealists have suggested we air our dirty laundry about that time Pres President Richardson tried to kill all mutants, but really, why bother? Was devoted to saving America? Shameful truth of America's or the Enclave's past or sunk to the bottom of the ocean after the destruction of the Red keep it there? The truth will set us free. Uh, what? No. Educating children about communism. Douglas was warned about the threat of communism in his youth, and warned and and a warned American is worth too. Should we pass these lessons on to America's children? We'll be warned of evil communism. Don't worry about these things. Uh, communism is a global threat that always is there. Now I'll leave it up to you guys. Should we do civilian education or military education in combination with military propaganda or propaganda broadcast to do mandatory patriotism, or should we choose like civilian education and then? Entertainment broadcast. I'll let you guys decide. Honor the First Amendment. I much prefer the Second Amendment, but the First Amendment's pretty good. Uh, open for business. Well, yeah, oppose the Mexican Titans. I guess we could try that. Before the Great War, America, is, America often intervened to protect the people of Mexico. Now that they are threatened by rogue AIs and drug cartels, perhaps we should do so again. Probably, we probably should. Advanced circuitry, not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some Zax technology as well. Lots of research speed, my friends. Why get involved in a war when we don't have to fight it? Oh, actually, maybe we should build up some infrastructure here, too. That would probably be pretty darn useful, I'd say. Uh, we're doing pretty well on that already, so not too bad. Sure. If you want to come on in? That's fine with me. Any battles going on here? Nope. Oh, actually, we've got some extra planes around here, too. Look at that. Light bombardment. Alright, looks good to me. Throw some more guys on. There you go. And there you go. Even more. Just we only have a hundred on them, but whatever. I'm really not worried about this, as you can tell. It's a lot of political power. Well, let's do irrigating California. Before the Great War, California was America's gardens. The destruction. Oh, come on! Can you stop doing this stuff? Come on. Uh, destruction of the nation's irrigation system means much of that is gone, but the United States can still rebuild it. Cut our losses. I don't care. 
Actually, you know, we have still well, that's a lot of money. Holy cow. Let's go and spend some money here. There you go, good enough for now. It is costing us more and more, but whatever. Let them kill each other off. Oh, are, are we fighting Lannis at the same time? Oh, we are. Oh, okay. That's a lot of factories. Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> so we lost about, a, well, 300 some men. We killed off 3,000 of them. Not bad, not bad. It's going to take some time. Actually, I want to split you guys up. Uh, yeah, I don't care. No, guys, you guys go down here. And let the power armor come this way as well. Re maintenance training, not bad. Go right ahead. Have a good time. Catch you later. And we should do this. Normal research, thank you. Tribal huts, not bad. Let's grab this over here with digital data links. Just keeping an army over here just in case. And you guys are hanging out. You guys are doing that up there. I'll keep you guys down here just in case as well. Oh, there goes the white legs. Just in case. And you guys can all train if you want. I don't care. You guys hanging out. You might as well train. We're missing more composite materials. Yes, we are. More divisions. Don't mind if we do. That one. Bows Mexican Titans. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. The greatest power in the waste. Uh, we can make them go to war. That would be a bad idea. But let's do open for business. As we expand over control over the United States, and as some have suggested, reopening Repcon, Robco, and Vault for business once again. Obviously, we won't be mass producing robots for a while, but maybe we can give farmers some mechanical harvesters. Why not? Money. Mm. Rebuilding Sacramento. Well, I guess so. Please pardon the mess during the reconstruction. Thank you. We'll do Fate of the Boneyard in a little bit. Oh, we got some, uh. Supply issues here. You know what? Oh, it's resistance issues. That's the thing. That's the real deal. Oh, we gotta kill off Heaven's Gate too. Yeah, once we're fighting all these guys down here, I don't really care. We'll get that one done. These guys are holding on a lot longer than I thought they would. A lot longer. Holy cow. Circle Junction. Oklahoma's holding out pretty nicely too. But they're still losing a little bit. Eastern Legion. Not bad, not bad. Oh, look at this. We got a lot of guys up here. Lynette criticizes, criticizes support for Mexico. Some of America's citizens are unhappy that a nation exhausted and bloodied by war is spending time to help its neighbor to the south. Mayor Lynette is among the leading critics of the effort. Today she gave a calm, dispassionate speech on the radio about the cal cal calculus of compassion. We're not a rich land. For every shipment that we send to help the people who wash up in Baja, we take food from our own children. We take a gun from the soldiers who stand against the Legion. Not every, nobody wants to see them suffer, but we must choose wisely. Do some of them, do some of survive? Or none of us. Wait, what? We must almost do our part. I suppose we don't want to encourage this. Mexico's resistance will decline in light of American indifference. Anyone who fights for freedom is a better citizen than you, Lynette. They are willing to fight for a country and they aren't even citizens of. I wish all Americans felt that way about their country. Mm-hmm. What did you get, Lynette? All right. Honestly, we could probably actually use you up here just because Heaven's Gate is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Once Heaven's Gate's gone, we can focus on the rest of this part of the Legion, so. And resistance is just going to keep climbing, no! That could actually ruin a lot of our power armor. Which is really, really, really not ideal. Yeah, we should have absolute, always, a 100% air stability, air stability, air superiority, so. Okay, the Eastern Legion, oh, they weren't at war with each other? Huh, that's a little different. Okay. How strong is the Sons of Kaiser, by the way? Specialized training? Oh, they're, they're not that strong. They don't have manpower left. The Volpus Legion has a little bit left. Eastern Legion has not as much as I thought they would. And Aurelius' Legion has no manpower left either. Rats. Oh, that's alright. Whatever. How much manpower does Heaven's Gate have? Regular shack markets. They have up to 70 divisions. No manpower. That should be not too bad then. You guys will do great. You can go and start training then. You guys can keep training. That's fine. And we'll finish this episode with another focus. Hmm. Oh, Brotherhood Leadership. It is the brother to steal legitimate descendants of the U.S. Army who went astray, or power armored criminals with access to, to some stolen technology. Opinions differ, but regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when we will finish off all other legions and their worthless existence. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.